Hello, this is Steve Palladino from Palladino Power Project, bringing you a, uh, a new video on the uh, Palladino Power Project calculators that are now in Final Surge. Um, this, this is the first of four videos that I will, um, I will be doing, just introducing you on and giving you an overview on how to find it and, and what, what is in an available calculator. So, what you do is you go to your final surge calendar um, in beta mode. You got to be in the beta mode. Um, and right here, you have a set of icons. This icon right here is for the calculators. If you click on that, it will pop up various calculators Hanson's, Macmillan, Tin Man, and Palladino calculators. So uh, these are the Paladino Power Project calculators, and there are four of them as of uh, early October of 2021. Um, the first one is the uh, individualized interval uh, power target uh, calculator. I've done several videos on this. Um, I will put the links to those videos in the notes on this uh, particular video. I'm not going to go into, I'm not going to produce another video uh, for, for this, but that's the first one that appears, and that's for your in individualized interval power target calculator. Uh, there is more on this, and all three videos are linked in the Paladino Power Project training plan guide. Um, so there's a, a whole category on that devoted to this uh, particular calculator. Um, next is uh, a calculator that allows you to put in your data from a CP test. Now, um, I put in uh, you know basic, straightforward, uh, useful calculators in, into my working set here. Um, there are more elaborate calculators in the Superpower uh, calculator, which you can get through the Facebook group. Um, but this one is allows uh, entry of two test components, and it's really designed for uh, two test components that are typically done uh, within a week. Most of my CP test prescriptions are single day prescriptions, but some people with a uh, auto CP optimizing plan. Uh, may want to enter, uh, say, a, a two-minute and a ten-minute uh, results if if those are both tests done on the same day, uh, same week. Uh, so this gives you instructions here. It will say that ideally you want to have a uh, a test in the two to three-minute range, and then a longer uh, test duration in the ten to twenty-minute range. Um, 10 minutes is what I have as my default prescription for a CP test. It's three and 10 minutes. Um, but for my one-on-one -on -one coached athletes, I'll use three and 12 minutes, and I've even used three and 15 minutes. Um, uh, sometimes I'll have someone do a 1K time trial early in the week when they have a 5K uh, on the weekend or a 20-minute test on the weekend. So then I have two tests within a seven day period. Um, and uh, I can utilize that as a way to estimate. Um, this calculator will also will produce a um, power VO2 max um, estimate. Realize there is no single power at VO2 max. And this is a rough estimate using five minute max Surrogate. So based on the, the test data, it will calculate five minute max, and that is the surrogate power at VO2 max. Again, there is no single power at VO2 max. Uh, this gives you a just a very a very rough approximation. So let me show you um, the next the next. Um, Ref, uh, calculator here, and that is a calculator that allows you to calculate your CP or FTP from uh, your uh, 
about races that are more than 40 minutes, 40 minutes or more. Uh, so if you have, say, a, uh, a, a 10K or a half marathon or marathon, it allows you to um, use this calculator to give you an estimate, a range, a rough range or estimate of the uh, CP or FTP. This will not produce a reserve work capacity estimate as would the CP test calculator. Um, but it will give you a, a pretty good ballpark uh, for your CP FTP uh, based on that, that race data. And the, the last, the fourth calculator is a calculator that allows you to calculate your CP or FTP from uh, a race or time trial that is less than or equal to 40 minutes. So if let's say you have a 20 minute test, you could put that 20 minute test data in and get a rough estimate of your uh, CP FTP. Um, or let's say you ran a 10K in 35 minutes. Well, there you can put that information into uh, this calculator as well. Just understand, Races and time trials less than or equal to 40 minutes use this calculator. Races and time trials that are greater than or equal to 40 minutes use this calculator. You'll find that if you have something that's almost right on 40 minutes, let's say it's uh, you know 39, 30, or 40, 42, um, if you put that information in both of these calculators, the, you're going to get nearly the identical estimate. Um, but as you deviate further from that 40 minutes uh, in, in the shorter domain, use this last calculator. And if it's deviating further from 40 minutes in the longer domain, then use uh, this particular calculator. So there you have it. There's an overview of the four calculators that are present in Final Search under the calculator um, icon in your calculator data mode. Um, I will now go on to some other videos that go into those calculators uh, in a little bit more detail. As I said, the individualized uh, interval power target calculator, it already has several videos on that subject. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.